I, I actually feel like the Lopetegui one might be my my biggest surprise. Well, where do you think he would go, by the way? Where do you think he would go? I don't know where Lopetegui is going to go. It looks like Manchi, who is a mastermind genius behind the scenes for Sevilla, he's going to bring in Diego Martinez, who's been on the sidelines after leading Granada to the Europa League semifinals last season or quarterfinals. So that looks like that's already set. Lopetegui, let's take Sevilla. You know, obviously favorites to win the Europa League. They're hosting the final. Yeah, won the Europa League in Lopetegui's first season in charge. Always getting into the Champions League. Did it again today with a last-minute goal against Just Aleti. about. Just yeah, about. Yeah, and Nesri it. with a with a little power header. You know, you love to see it. I don't know where Lopetegui's going to go, but the fact that Sevilla's already made moves. Now, Lopetegui only won four out of the last 17 games, and it just felt like they were getting booed at home. Like, they just weren't playing well. And, and that seems like they fell off a cliff really quick, That that maybe that relationship between Monchi and... And Lopetegui, I don't know where he goes, but I keep an eye on him because he is incredibly talented at what he does. I'm surprised that relationship ended as quickly as it has, but uh, that's the way it goes in this. Sport. Yeah, well, Julian Lopetegui has only managed uh, the majority of the time in Spain and uh, a stint in Porto with Portugal between 2014 uh, and 2016. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Rafa yeah. Cardenas made a comment there, Pochettino to Sevilla, perhaps. Uh, that's interesting. I kind of like that, actually, Jimmy. That's 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 kind of intriguing. Yeah, I think he might consider it too. Obviously, there's been rumors of him going to a couple of the La Liga teams. He played for Espanyol for a good portion of his career, so he'll never go to Barcelona. But he Sevilla's should definitely go back to Spain. That's what I think. I, I agree. I agree. I'd like to see him in Spain. I think he would be more comfortable, maybe a little bit more relaxed. So much pressure in some of the mm. jobs that he's had. I don't know, though. It, it, from what the report that I read, it looks like Diego Martinez is the heavy, heavy favorite to take over. I mean, we've talked and heavily about Diego Martinez here, Jimmy Conrad. We, we have. We, sugar out of a rock. He's a very good manager. Um, what's, it, our, what's interesting about that goal, though, we'll just talk about Sevilla very quickly. Now that they've secured Champions League football for next season, mm. that just said, well, does Jules Kounde? You know, you might actually keep players that maybe would have gone somewhere else if they hadn't qualified. I'm just throwing that mm. out there, but... But uh, obviously, that's going to be a very attractive proposition for any manager that takes over, that they got a Champions League berth. I do want to say, though, just quickly about Sevilla, and I know that Julian Lepetegui is leaving now. We, we talked about it at the top of the show, which is a bit of a surprise long-term manager. Well, not even long-term. Just there for a couple seasons, but won the Europa League in his first season and obviously keeps getting them in the Champions League. Mm. They only lost four games all season out of 37. That's, that's tied for Real Madrid for only four losses all season. 17 wins, 16 draws. That's where they drop their points. That's a very Lopetegui thing to do. And they have the best defense in the league. Yeah. Imagine imagine saying you're not good enough for us anymore when you, when you tied for the least amount of losses and you had the best defense in the whole league. And we're just going to we're going to move on. You're not you're not the right guy. Could you imagine? Do you, but you, you think that's the conversation the right now? You think that's the conversation or do you think it's more, you know, Lopetegui himself? There had, there had something happens for sure. I mean, as I mentioned before, they they only won 4 out of the last 17. So something wasn't right whether he lost a little bit of the locker room at that point or Manchi was maybe sniping him with t some of his tactics or decision making or subs or whatever or, or maybe Lopetegui's like hey you needed to do more for me in the January transfer window like Martial wasn't the guy like that wasn't enough for us hmm. I don't know there there had to have been some catalyst to why you'd want to disrupt this type of success because Sevilla it's always a tough task for them to try to break into the top three and and they're fourth. They're like the next best out of the outside of the top three in Spain. So I I wait for I'm gonna wait for the dust to settle, the smoke to settle, the smoke to clear, whatever that the phrase is. And I think we'll get more of this story uh, as time goes on. But uh, yeah. with the fact that Manchi's no, already looked like he's, point. I think I, it's a combination of two things. I think I think it's Manchi to your point that likes to get the best deals possible in order to create a team that's not just good but that's fighting for Europe. And then there's Lopetegui, who surely, surely. In those bad runs, he was like, look, man, what do you expect? You're giving me Anthony Martial on loan. You're giving me X. I, if you want me to compete with Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and even Barcelona, you need to give me more. So to your point, I think we just have to wait a little bit. But I think go ahead. But Sevilla in the Champions League. I mean, they got so I, that that to me, that's that. Listen, I've interviewed Monchi. You his thing is <laughs> his thing is this. He always just says this. Whatever we have. We need to either equate that value or elevate it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's exactly what they've done. So I, I don't know. I don't know what could have gone wrong here. I am surprised that he left, though. I am surprised that he's leaving. I, I am, too. I, I really am. I felt like they were building something. And maybe there was that pressure because 
Seville is hosting the, the Europa League final and, uh, you know, they wanted to have that chance to play in front of their home fan. Maybe there's some added pressure that we're not catching here. I don't know, but it's really surprising to me. And what I, if I'm Julian Lopetegui's agent, I say, listen, man, you just got to lay low because if you want to stay in Spain, the top six or seven clubs are spoken for and you just left number four yeah. on the list. And, and if there's talks of maybe Mauricio Pochettino coming, he's going to be on the tips of people's tongues as well to want to come back and manage. Just sit out for a year, man. Something's going to pop up. Don't worry. Hey, Don't man. worry. Just, just, be, just, be, just go learn English. That's what Diego Martinez did. He went to he went to England and watched a lot of Premier League in person. And uh, when he got uh, let go from Granada and or whatever, they parted away it's amicably. And and now Manchi wants him back because he ended up coaching, I think, Sevilla's B team. And he was part of, uh, or maybe it was uh, Valencia's B team. And he was there with, with Unai Emery when they won. I think so, Lopetegui so, will do that because remember, you know, just before off. that he was dealing with Spain, the national team. There's a lot, you know, he'll take a break. He'll do a Pep Guardiola, come to New York and that's what he should and chill and chill out. <laughs> 